Filipino black folks and basically Air Force should be and the markings in, and I think that's triple delta but it's flying falcons I just want I just opened up with this to make sure that you guys realize the newest baddest birds that we've got flying in our arsenals okay uh, they are very different shape than what they've been in the past so that when you see a newer rounded shape like this uh, anybody who's an aircraft nut, I, I am, but I haven't been paying attention for a long time. Uh, you will see this new body style, okay? And basically, it's one that we've been fighting about being approved for a long time, I think, tax dollars. But the thing is, usually when they're fighting about that, usually we've already made some or they've have some. And they supply the government with them to test them and to see if you like them, to make sure that the contracts go through and so that you get them. So as you see here, a full shot with the idea of the body is very differently shaped, okay, ladies and gentlemen? And all to do with masking radar and so forth and such and uh, speed and uh, honestly, the radar evasion is the number one thing. So a lot of times there's some things given away and then everybody keeps winning a contract trying to make sure that it's still just as flyable like of an F-18 or a Hornet or Fighting Falcon and more than likely I don't know if that's what they're naming these but it's Fighting Falcons I believe squadron and anybody as a military nut should be able to with the zoom in that I gave of the there you should be able to I think that's triple delta 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 fighting falcons but then again and then all I know is I can tell it's either east coast and you can see radar dome down there and this is either east coast or uh, Britain or Germany because uh, you can tell by the buildings old style buildings so it's either east coast England or Germany where the idea they're flying over but anyway just make sure that you don't realize when you see a new picture of an airplane don't freak out and think that it's a spaceship because we have some very different looking and if you ever seen the the I think it's the F-17 or something like that, uh, the black one that evades radar and basically you go to Desert Storm and stuff and you'll see we use them there, I think Desert Storm and they're on after. So they're pretty spaceship looking like too, but these look spaceship looking like too. So the idea, don't let them think that there's actual, I don't believe in UFOs. Bino Black constantly tells you, he does not believe in UFOs, do not believe in Martians. If I see one, I'll bag it. And I will stuff it and put it in a museum, and you will be able to take a look at it, and I'll be richer than poop. And basically, a well-credited uh, agency here, and basically, this is the latest news that they have for you. All right. So, you can see the dates through the year. And so, let's just go to our data finding and stuff that we find for you, because basically, we've seen Lovejoy and all stuff like that. So, a lot of this stuff is just old news. Because the idea of Lovejoy is the newest, hottest thing that we've seen. And also the planet that I showed you. The humongous dead sun. And this is Beano Black, folks. And then I'll take you over and we'll take a look at the latest. And just watch both of them. Because I show you in this video and also in this one. Uh, the big planet. And basically, you can see the stars in front of it. The object and so forth and so on. In the background. So you will, let me take it to you. So you will understand that it is a humongous planet. It may possibly be the meatball that's out behind Jupiter and so forth, the size of the shots. So I'm going to take you to a recent shot right now of uh, our action that we've got going on with the solar flares. Because the sun's flaring like a son of a buck, folks. Because basically, that is flare right there. And let me show you in photos. And basically, I apologize because we can just toggle back through. And you're going to see this movement, folks. And you watch this move, you will see this is a solar flare as it goes up through the star cluster. You see that? And you can see it really good right there and there. Okay, let me give you one more. Okay, and then it's not there, okay? So back through the time here on the 29, as you watch the clock down here and also here, now you're gonna see it move back towards the sun because it's a flare that came off the sun. You see that? So these stars are always set. Yes, some pop in, some rise, and some fall, okay? But that's a solar flare going out, okay? So these gigantic, sometimes when you see the high out shots of like this here when you see these clusters like that well what is these new old well, idea it's solar flares and solar weather okay yeah it's moving okay you see that that's a solar flare folks and yes mercury is probably hotter than a piss ant and burning and smoking right now because these are coming up and hitting it and has hit it in the last few months okay so that's a solar flare folks they're humongous the sun is huge compared to jupiter 
okay, and also the supergiants, okay, and as you can see these flares that the sun is in the supergiants, because the sun could possibly be, as you see that flare right there, the roundness of it, as I move it back towards the sun, I think, well, that's a moving away, okay, and then I'll move that flare back towards the sun, it's a solar flare, and you will see the idea that the sun is probably that humongous, okay, now the object, and you watch this video of mine, folks, basically, let me go to blowing it up, and then we'll see about Java readjusting itself. But as you can see, all these, as it's doing the adjustment to do the play, I'm not worried about it playing right now, we've got it frozen. You can see all these stars still in front of it, okay? And even in like a planet, look at these planets right there. Do you see that planets that were there? So going through this footage of showing you what I basically taken, and it's still available on, should be on Setchy, you should be able to find this and see how the Java player messes up, but I don't really care because the idea that you're going to be able to see these planets, see those planets right there? And the all, uh, also that, uh, now I can pull the player back, and this is our gigantic object, okay folks? So these star clusters stay there in front of this, okay? And this may possibly straight up be the, the uh, be the may possibly straight up be, and as you see, those planets right there also are still right there in front of this massive, 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 because you can go to the video and watch it. It's a massive object, and all this stuff stays intact. The magneticism of Venus, I believe that we had there, and the other planets stays intact. All these star clusters, like these star clusters over here, stay intact because this is massive and huge and way beyond back out that direction. Okay, now let me go ahead and uh, hit play so that you'll end up seeing that the idea that where it was at, because this is where we took Lovejoy and so forth. Mars is there and Venus. So if you look up behind Mars and Venus, and let's go ahead and go do that. Okay, there's Comet Lovejoy and we see this magneticism that puts the V in the hole in there and everything like that. You can watch that video to see that. I'm going to take you to the data real fast. And I think I've got Venus and also the idea that even if it's not, if I've got Jupiter, you'll understand that the idea that it's the moons around Venus that are giving you this bright more than one size of Venus, okay? And folks, we are just a little bit closer than the what I have on the recorded there, but it's just a, a bit, and I think it's like either 500 miles or 5,000 miles because it comes down to that mileage. But what it is, is it is exactly that. It is 9834AU right now, so it's we're point zero 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 one are you closer to uh the sun right now than the earth has been and it's get so we're very close to the all time current ever recorded uh closeness of us to the sun and the sun is in the super giant's gonna ask kick and I'll try to get Itchy to come back into uh, and put her address at my site already that or I'll paste it there but the idea that you can also go here and click on pinoblackwebs.com and get uh, get the Super Giants main sequence where the sun's getting his ass kicked, and also we basically let everybody know here that the idea that the truth about Rad's the CPM, and a lot of links for you to cut and paste because Kerasoft has messed with my site a lot on not letting people go there. So you cut and paste these addresses, and you will get your data for RAD and CPM, okay? And if they've quit recording and they've, they're have old RADs and CPM, then that's what you get because they're not wanting you to know what's new, okay? And then you got all my videos, but the most important thing is to go up here. The newer ones are right here, the recent videos on the right-hand corner, and Supergiant's main sequence, and we are basically keeping you more up-to-date right on YouTube here. But I'll go here when something's missing. And here's uh, Aurora, and you can see the dates. We're all up to date here, and today's the 27th. Okay, and there you go, the 27th, and you can say we're, see we're off again because basically the North Pole is off, probably centered around somewhere right there in the center of the blue haze. We go through, Earth goes through space over 60,000 miles an hour, and that's what a lot of people want to know is how fast are we going through space now and how many resolutions are we doing a day? And way off in the Antarctic on the South Pole. Okay, so we probably have some earthquake activity today. So I'm going to come back into here. That's because right now I'm going to show you pictures from down in Antarctica. And as you can see, folks, the 27th, and then the UTC, this is Zulu time, so it's earlier. Now, this object is there. So what I'm going to do is go back into Rothabara Station and blow that up so that you see that we have basically right there is that planet and stuff that we will end up seeing in these shots as I blow into them. And you also get that is this, okay? This right here is an earlier shot of that right there below, okay? 
and also you'll see that there's times and shots like this sunrise is not shown so it's unusual because the idea that I'm going to show you where M22 is at and M22 is behind the sun okay so that is probably why that we have them hiding what is coming up now you see the time this is UTC 1 2 a.m. okay then as we work our way back that is that object there earlier the lower portion okay and that's the higher portion blown up at a thousand and as you can see this is a planet cluster up there and more than likely the one that we this is probably exactly what I see that I've shown you on the last couple of videos that's in the H video and I'll try to pull, pull up the lo latest H high one two a B or C whatever the heck one is that why I'll be able to pull it off of but I'll, I'm gonna pull in here and let you see there it is coming up in the morning more than likely uh, proximity Centauri or Rigel Cantaris B or Rigel Cantaris A or anything of the supergiants as you see you get the darkness and it's not the camera that does it it's just the object that gets in front of it and you can see it slicing right through the middle of it as it's coming up at that early Zulu time that's a.m. that's one minute a.m. M Zulu time on the 27th okay so you can see it and it keeps constantly getting reflected right there on the roof when it comes up now when the Sun comes up this will light up right here okay the lower portion of this because the Sun comes up in the east which is over here okay and then the Sun will glow up here when it comes up at the AMs and that's when the idea that I'm gonna go to Rothbard right now to show you that and I'm at Rothbard and I'm gonna take you to the 5 o'clock down here and you can see up here that they don't show the sunrise at 5 o'clock and let me show you at 5 and 6 o'clock what they uh, and that's it 5 and 6 won't show up there and down here we go to 5 and 6 o'clock and this is what you're gonna get down there is you're gonna get that no shot no picture okay so they're hiding something that's up in front of the Sun folks because let me show you where M22 is at by the Sun so when them blocking these shots out I'm gonna show you that M22 is behind the sun right now so you can see they're not letting us see 5 to 6 o'clock the sunrise okay also at 6 they don't let you see the sunrise okay even at 8 o'clock they don't show it and then 9 o'clock we'll see if we get something at 9 o'clock and 9 o'clock they show the sky okay but as you can see we still have an object up there in the sky all the time and triangulation more than likely right there also so and we'll take you through here and you'll see this is M22 and it's behind the sun so if you lay on the on the ground and looking up at the constellations you're not going to see the M22 you just see a, gra a glaze of it okay so more than likely that big massive object that we saw that's even smaller than the Sun and you've seen how humongous it was folks and you can see how large the Sun is it could be a possibility that it's M22 but I highly doubt it because we know from even the catalog here as I go through and it, here's positions Venus currently this is all currently North America the moon Mercury and Saturn so you got to remember that when we're looking at this shot here of Jupiter and Mercury let me blow it in so the idea that you can see it there so that and then that's basically a solar flare this is a solar flare I showed you that so that we got Jupiter and Mercury and then the idea that the Jupiter has a bunch of um, moons so that's what makes Jupiter look so big too is the idea that it's got moons going around it too so Mercury and Jupiter are a long ways away from each other, okay? Because Jupiter is on the back side here. It's not in the solar map right now. It's on the back side of Earth. Let me show you that. I got Jupiter for And here's Jupiter currently. And the idea that there's a distance from Earth, okay? But let's pop down here real fast and see the moons. And this is the idea that also, I ain't got time to put in, to, but I'm pretty sure Venus has also got moons. So, but let's look at the hole. And you, here's your map, okay? So the idea that Jupiter is that far away from Venus right now, okay? And also from earth and Mars okay as you see so when you see that shot you know that they're showing you space that large that's that humongous folks out there in space okay and I can click back through these and you'll end up seeing that solar flare as I put it back down to 50 percent you'll be able to see that solar flare that is a solar flare folks as you see it move and then you're gonna see it move away And I'll make it move back into the sun. That is a solar flare. Humongous, ladies and gentlemen. Humongous solar flares up there in the supergiants with the sun. So the massive object that we've seen before more than likely is something either from the supergiants or behind all those star clusters. As you see, it doesn't obstruct any star clusters. And the idea that it could be between us and Uranus and Neptune and Pluto and to be the big meatball.
because it's out the back door in the dark. Robert's Antarctica next.